Like, I want to talk about Hawthorne because we can go weeks and weeks without talking about Hawthorne. Have they become the irrelevant team of the competition? I mean, there's no Clarks in there. You're not Kennet back at this on the again, way out. Well, well, I am because they're, they're a bit nothing, aren't they? They're a bit bland. No, they're not a bit nothing. Whose Guernsey are you buying if you're a Hawthorne supporter in terms of their playing James list? Sicily? Yeah, James Sicily. Uh, J J Will Day? You're buying James Sicily's jumper. In Absolutely. Terms of, uh, he's one of the best players in the competition. No, he's, what are you he, talking he's about? A, he's a good Get player. off he's his back. Not, I'm not, I'm not, you brought it up. He's not a star player. Like yes, he, yes, he is. He's a top yeah, 40 yeah. player in the competition. Yeah, he's, he's a, a star. potential All Australian. Mitchell? But you're not buying his Guernsey. Tom Mitchell started on the bench on the weekend, has been dropped this year, Carrie. I'm just saying, how are they going to get back Mitch Lewis? to relevance? Yeah, maybe a bit, bit, it's bit, a fair bit call. You're not buying anyone's jumper at the moment. Maybe no, Jack, no, Jack, it's Jack would be the it's one. It's interesting. They're, they're equal on wins and losses with Essendon, and we've been ferocious on Essendon. Yeah, I know Essendon made finals last year. I think year, you but... challenged me on an opinion I had about their playing list. Now, I, I was wrong. They're not the least uh, playing list that you like to have in the competition. That's North Melbourne, but that'd be the second least favourite in terms of upside that they've got. So uh, the challenge to them is, yes, they're rebuilding. We know they're going to be significant changes. But they how, won't even have Jeff Kennett how, mouthing well, off left, right Well, that's what I'm right saying too. So how do they become relevant again in the coming two to three years? Oh, I was surprised by Tom Mitchell starting on the bench on the weekend. I think it's you don't start your best players on the bench. I just wonder where he's at and whether he can find a home at the end of the year. To mm. Tom Mitchell, can he go to a club that loves him and loves what he brings to the table? I know, oh, I thought early in the game, um, it's when you start your best players. I thought the Giants got off to a, bit, a great start with him off. The moment he came back onto the ground, or came on the ground, the game changed around the centre clearances. So I just wonder if there's a home for him and someone, you can't have too many of the same types and they've thought Newcomb's younger, will go with him. But I just wonder if there's a club out there for him. Uh, where he can have a real impact and, and potentially help win a premiership? No, it's a, f a fair question. Lordy, while you're running hot, what about the dogs? Is there a way that they can justify to their members missing the finals this year after where they got to last year? Not, not really. Uh, they have had, got some injuries. Look at that. Uh, Tim English, uh, you know, their best ruckman. Bailey Smith, you know, he, it's self-inflicted how yep. he's hurt them. Uh, Yugel Hagen, you know, he, he's obviously just you know, struggling for form a little bit. Darcy will come through, but... Um, you can't really count those last two games. I think it's no. a big story. I think, I think yeah. the dogs is a big story. And if you're talking about pressure on the coach at the end of sort of this year and into next year, I think Luke Beveridge will be under that pressure. I think he's had a poor year. And I think most clubs would kill for that playing list. And to be you know leading in a grand final last year to potentially missing the finals, it's a big story. So you They've been poor defensively. And he hasn't been able to get them to buy in in the defensive aspects of the game. But you think he gets a year's grace because well, of making not, the grand final? Yeah, well, winning a premiership and making the grand final last yep. year. And he's contracted, obviously, yeah, it's, and it's a proper contract. But but be careful about underperforming next I year. Think be under, be I think he'll be under significant pressure next year. If they can land Lobb, or they just if they can just find a key back. Lobb's not the answer. What's that? Lobb's not the answer, no, is he? He'd be pretty handy for them. I think he ta Norton, it's too much about Norton at the moment. Ewell Hagen hasn't come on. Hopefully they can get Darcy in. I'm not sure where who's their key back, though. I think Keith is good. Uh, Tim O'Brien's not the answer. Uh, I think Gardner's not the answer. That's They want a key back. Well, if that me. vaccine mandate changes, mm. Liam Jones would be a handy mm. pick-up. He would be. Given where, the, yes. where they're at.